Hi, in this video, we are going to solve a problem uh, on the expansion of a binomial. Okay, let's go over the question. Find the middle term in the expansion of x negative 3 over x square uh, to the 10th power. Okay, consider uh, the algebraic identity that is a positive b whole square. The expansion of this one is going to be a square positive 2ab positive b square. Consider another algebraic identity that is a plus b whole cube, which is equal to a cube positive 3a square b positive 3a b square positive b cube. Here, the first one, the exponent of the binomial is 2 and the expansion contains 3 terms. In the second one, uh, the exponent of the binomial is 3 and the expansion contains 4 terms. So, the number of terms in the expansion is more than the exponent by 1. So, if the exponent is 2, the expansion will have 3 terms. If the exponent is 3, the expansion will have 4 terms. Okay, consider uh, the binomial expansion of binomial, which is a positive b whole to the nth power. Here, the exponent is n. Then, the expansion will contain how many terms? It will be n plus 1 terms. Because the number of terms in the expansion of a binomial will be more than the exponent by 1. Okay, we can apply the same logic in our problem. So, in our problem, the binomial um, x negative 3 over x square as the exponent 10. Then, how many terms the expansion will contain? So, it's 11 terms. Now, we have to find uh, the middle term among these 11 terms. So, to find the middle term among the 11 terms, what we need to do is we have to add 1 to this 11 and divide by 2. That is, middle term is equal to 11 plus 1 by 2 term. So, 11 plus 1 is 12, 12 by 2. When I divide 12 by 2, which is 6. So, among these 11 terms, the middle term is 6th term. Okay, already we know the formula uh, for r plus 1 term of a binomial. Okay, so you can consider the expansion, binomial expansion that is a positive b whole to the nth power. So, in this, uh, in the expansion of this binomial, the formula to find the r plus 1 term is going to be ncr a to the power n minus r b to the power r. Okay, when we compare this one and this one, we get a is equal to x, b is equal to negative 3 over x square and n is equal to 10. Okay, and also we have to find the sixth term. If I want to find the sixth term, then I have, uh, I have to plug in 5 for r, so that 5 plus 1 will become 66 represents the sixth term. So now we can plug in r is equal to 5 and uh, n is equal to 10. And for a is equal to x to the power of n minus r, that is 10, negative 5. And the value of b is going to be negative 3 over x square to the power of r. And r is 5. So, you have to be very careful. Uh, so, to get the sixth term, you have to plug in 5 for r so that t5 plus 1 in the next term, it will become, t, I mean, the next step, it will become t6. So, this represents the sixth term. Now we have to find the value of this 10 C5. 10 C5 is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. That is 10 has to be reduced for the next 5 terms because we have 5 over here divided by 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 3 times 2 is 6 and 6, 6 will cancel out. 5 goes into 5 1 times, 5 goes into 10 twice. 4 goes into 4 1 times, 4 goes into 8 twice. So now we have to multiply 2, 9, 2, 7, that is equal to 252. So the value of 10 C5 is 252 times x to the power of 10 minus 5 is 5 times negative 3 to the fifth power over x square to the fifth power. Because 5 is a common exponent for this fraction. So this exponent uh, can be taken for numerator and denominator separately. So, the next step, it will be T6 is equal to 252 times um, x to the fifth power times 
negative 3 to the fifth power will be negative 243 over x to the 5 times. Uh, so here we have x square all to the fifth power means we can multiply these two exponents that is x to the 10th power. Okay, let's continue on the next page. So we get t6 is equal to, we can multiply this 252 and negative 243, that is uh, negative 61,236. Because here this is positive, positive times negative become negative. And when I multiply 252 and 243, it will be 61,236. I mean, negative 61,236 times x to the fifth power times 1 over this x to the 10th power can be written as x to the fifth power times x to the fifth power. So, 1 x to the fifth power at the top and 1 x to the fifth power at the bottom will cancel out. So, t6 is equal to negative 61,236 times 1 over x to the fifth power. So, this is the sixth term. And also the middle term uh, in the expansion of the given binomial. I think uh, everyone can understand this. Thank you.